Hi, I'm Matt Lehman. I'm a software engineer. And uh, in this video, I want to show you a little bit about a plugin for Vim called Control P. Control P is a really great way to navigate files. And it's really hard to describe in a few sentences uh, how it works. So I wanted to give a brief video demonstration to show it off, to give you an example for it, and let get you a real feel for how a fuzzy file finder can work. Um, we're in a project that I use on my Twitch stream. It's a project called Conductor, and it's a Django project. And we're going to navigate some files that are there and take a look at them um, in, in uh, with Control P. Um, the way you activate Control P is with a keyboard shortcut. I've got it mine mapped to a leader command, but the default is Control P, as you might guess. So you activate Control P by hitting that command, and it pops up a little window at the bottom of your Vim uh, session. And you can begin typing the name of the file that you want to open. Uh, let's say I want to open my planner application models file. I start by typing the some some of the letters that I know um, in the path. So I typed plan, and then I typed mo for models. And you can see that um, Control P has figured out very quickly that that's the file I want. Uh, and it gives you other options for other files that might have similar names if that's not quite an ex exact match. If you want to continue to refine your search, you continue to type more characters. The more characters you type, the more information the Control P has to give you a better result. Um, once you've found the file that you want, you can hit enter and it will open up that file and you can uh, edit away to your heart's content. So let's say I need to change a file so I can open up Control P again. I can bring up, let's say, a different model file and I can jump around that way. So you can make Control P easily swap out the buffer that you're working in, um, which is super useful if you're swapping in different, uh, moving on to a different uh, part of your project, doing a different task, whatever else like that. But that's not all that Control P has up its sleeve. There are tons of options, but the ones I want to show off are a couple for uh, splitting out things. So let's say that I wanted to actually also have up my test file for this. So I'm going to activate Control P. And I'm going to type um, the, the name of this Django app is trackers and I want to find my test uh, models file that goes with it. I'm going to use control V to do a vertical split and so now I've got both windows side by side and I can use some keyboard shortcuts to navigate between them. So I can edit uh, a file over here, or I can highlight some code over here and I can jump over to the associated test file and go back and forth. It's a really fantastic way for um, quickly getting a side-by-side -side comparison for two chunks of code that you want. Um, on top of that, you can get other kinds of splits. So let's say I want to go back to that planner models file, and now I want another split. So you know this has behavior that's similar to screen or tmux if you've used those before, but you get it all within Vim, and you get the power to move around and use Vim as your hub to interacting with your code. Um, so. This is a really fast way to open files. It's a really fast way to compare files side by side, navigate, copy back and forth. You get all of this control by using Control P in this manner. Uh, this is a brief tutorial. I didn't intend to show off every feature. Um, you can learn more about it on Control P's website. If you found this video useful, uh, I just ask that you like or subscribe. Um, I also stream regularly on uh, Twitch, so you can catch me at uh, Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, and I talk generally about not Vim, but uh, Python and Django and those sort of things, but I do talk about Vim and we'll happily discuss it if, if somebody brings it up. So I hope you found this useful. Take care.